And, and in terms of cruise ships, um, as you know, we just got new guidelines from the CDC that are quite uh, thorough, let's say. Um, and uh, they really entail uh, some really high hurdles in terms of not only testing by the uh, potential uh, guests uh, that we host on the ships, but also a process that has to uh, happen in order to certify our first sailings. Those will necessarily result in delays beyond what we had hoped in terms of getting our uh, uh, ships back uh, in service and making magic for our guests. I guess the best news out of all of it is that we now do see some light at the end of the tunnel. I think we have an opportunity to create sort of a Disney bubble, if you want, uh, if you would, on each one of our cruise ships. And demand is very, very strong for our cruise ships. Uh, we're seeing extremely strong demand in the back half of uh, fiscal year 21 and all of 22 in, sort, in terms of uh, uh, bookings. That said, that then creates the demand for the new ships that uh, you, you asked about. And right now, uh, we're anticipating delivering our first new ship, the Wish, in uh, summer of 22. And then we have uh, our next two ships in 24 and 25. And so after a slight delay of roughly six months on those ships, uh, we think that uh, we're going to be able to bring them onto service. We hope and expect that the world will be back to normal by then and anticipate uh, having uh, a, a, a fine time trying to uh, fill up the demand of those ships. And we think there's going to be so much pent up demand that we don't expect to have uh, much issues given the love that our guests have for Disney Cruise Line.